Hey everybody, welcome into Life with Annie. So I'm making one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna, you know, do a repeat of some of my favorites, maybe a little series and just have every once in a while sprinkled in something that we really love. And so this is one of them. So this is the chicken divan. And um, while I'm sitting here, let me go ahead. I'm gonna spread a little bit of butter down in these casseroles. So I'm making two casseroles one for here and then one to take. You know, Mike can hear thunder outside barking. It's a gorgeous day here. I think it's gonna get up to 65. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter in these dishes. This one's a little bit smaller. So I can take this to mama's. go with our butter. Let me grab a paper towel over here. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and put some broccoli. So chicken divan is known for broccoli, chicken, a creamy sauce, and some cheese on top. So let me grab my broccoli here. And usually I'll buy like the florets, but I decided to try it with the um, just the kind of chopped broccoli. So let me see if I can kind of get this in here without making too big of a mess. It's not really draining anymore. So I'm gonna start with the broccoli. And then we'll put some in here. This is such a good casserole. All right, now we've got that. Let me just rinse my hands real quick. Let me see if he wants to come in. No, he sees our neighbor's dog, I think, so he's not interested in coming in. So what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt on the broccoli, or pepper and salt. This is pepper here. And a little bit of salt. Okay, and then over here, I've got a pot of chicken that I cooked earlier and I've already shredded it. I would pick it up and bring it over here, but it's hot. The, the, the pot is hot, so I'm not gonna do that. But I just put some butter, a little bit of liquid in there, and went ahead and cooked it, and I've got it nice and shredded. I didn't think I was gonna have enough to do both casseroles, but it looks like I'll be okay. Put some in this one. As a matter of fact, I've been making Lucy and Thunder some chicken and rice, and they love it. So if I have a little bit left, I can add a little bit more to their chicken and rice. we have left. Put a little bit more in there. I didn't season the um, chicken, so I will put some salt and pepper on that layer as well. Okay. All right, I think we're good there. Maybe just one more little bit. I want mama to eat well. Sometimes she won't take the time to go in there and she won't eat too well. So we gotta make sure she does. All right, so we're good there. So we've got chicken, we've got our broccoli. We'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on this layer. And some pepper. Okay. 
So now I'm just going to move this over because we have to make our little cream topping here. So here I'm still trying to use up things in the pantry. And normally I make this with uh, cream of mushroom soup. I only had one can of cream of mushroom soup. So I had a can of cream of chicken. I think the original recipe calls for cream of chicken. So, but I usually use the cream of mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use the two cans that I have. Let me throw these away. Start mixing this together. And then we're gonna need some mayonnaise. I never measure when I make this. I've just been making it so long that I just kind of do my own thing. So I guess it's about two nice spoonfuls of mayonnaise. All right, put that over in the sink. Put the lid back on my mayonnaise. And then the last thing, and you really have to have this, I don't like curry, but you have to have a little bit in this. It gives it that, that flavor that you need. So I'm gonna mix all this together. I got, I think I've told this story before, but I got this recipe, I think back in 1981. And a little lady that lived next door to my mother, she gave it to me. And I have made this for years. But we love it. Matt loves it. It's called Chicken Divan, and he calls it Chicken Divine. So... All right, let me move my curry out of the way. Let me bring my two casseroles back over. And we're just gonna spread this sauce over the top. Sure, we get everything nice and covered. All right, there we go. Let me put this over in the sink. Rinse my hands. Grab a paper towel here. Alright. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to add some shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using the mild. That's just my preference, but you can use whichever kind you like. We're gonna put a nice layer of cheese on top because I know Mama likes the cheesy part. Okay. And that is it. You're gonna put this in your oven. If you, I'm not gonna be cooking mine today, I'll cook it. Um, I already have something planned for supper for us tonight, and then I'll take this over to Mama's, and then so it'll be refrigerated. So I always try to remind y'all: if you take a cold dish from your refrigerator to your oven, put it in a cold oven, and then because um, if you take a cold dish and put it in a hot oven, it's gonna probably crack, and then you're gonna be without supper and you're gonna have a broken dish and you're not gonna be a happy camper. So anyway, this is gonna be our meal coming up. 
one day, day after, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow or the next day, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, and, um, and then I'll take this one over to Mama, so I'll get to enjoy this with Mama, because I'm going to be staying over and dining for lunch with her, all right, so that's it, so this is our chicken divan, and um, it's very good, I've made it for years, and we love it, so I have to say this, but if you're watching this on YouTube, that's a fake channel. That is not my page. Please don't subscribe to that page. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get off of here, cover these up, and then I will um, enjoy the, this, this one later. And I'll probably have some of this with Mama tomorrow. So y'all have a great rest of your day, and thank you so much for stopping by. And we'll see you again real soon.